I recently got thrips. Let me show you how I took care of them and knocked them out. Keep watching. My name is Gerard. I'm an exotic plant collector. My YouTube channel is about plant care, plant tips, and just things that I can pass along to maybe help you take care of your plants. In this video, I'm going to talk about some really easy things that I did to take care of thrips. Number one, the easiest thing that you could do to take care of your plants is to monitor them and to watch to see if something's looking weird. If something's looking weird on your leaves and your leaves not looking right, something's going wrong. So that should be the first indication. So you are the first line of defense for your, well, not the first line, but you're pretty much a uh, big brother for your plant. So you're playing Homeland Security. And so you have to watch your plant and just make sure that it's forming leaves nicely and growing nicely if you notice something's going wrong and you got some disfigured ugly uh, weird looking leaves or any little variation of color spots just anything looking crazy that's some, I, that's a sign that something's going on with your plants and really a disclaimer if you're gonna get a plant you're gonna get a some type of bug in your plant so the second thing that you can do if you're going to get a plant familiarize yourself with all of the infestations that you could have with your plant mealybugs aphids thrips is what i'm talking about today fungus gnats um what else is there uh <laughs> Those are the ones that really come to mind. If you know about them beforehand, that is also a good thing. But today I'm just gonna be talking about thrips. The next thing that I suggest is spraying your plant with neem oil. It helps the plant look shiny and it also suffocates any thrips that may be crawling around, poking holes in your plant, drinking all its sugars and stuff like that. And that's what thrips do. They drink the sugars from the plant they secrete some nasty looking stuff and also they fly around. So the next thing I wanna tell you to do is get some yellow sticky paper. Putting out sticky traps captures the flying pests that are transporting the egg from plant to plant to plant. So that would help the spread of the thrips jumping from plant to plant to plant. The next thing that I did was take out the top four inches of soil Thrips have a chance of surviving in soil and laying eggs in the soil. So if you remove the top layer, you can get rid of a lot of thrips that way also. And lastly, the thing that uh, I go to, and this is a non-sponsored ad, I use a systemic pesticide to make sure that with their feeding on the plant that they'll be getting some of this stuff too. And that'll knock them out too. The next thing that I recommend is quarantining your plant so it can't spread to the other plants that's a good way to prevent the spread you know from jumping from plant to plant to plant i wasn't too shocked that i got thrips but i was ready every plant parent is going to get some type of bug so it's expected but the good thing about it is knowing how the pest thrives and what it needs to thrive and you if you can disrupt that you're pretty much good after that that's pretty much it guys my name is gerard i'm an exotic plant collector you can also check me out on instagram at gerard's underscore horticulture underscore culture thanks for watching